kick up the leaves and the magic is lost. Hey guys, Manly Chapa here. How you doing? Well, it's time for another one of my little blogs and updates. First big news today. Pope Benedict XVI is apparently resigning. There's been so many different rumors of why he might be resigning, but mm, I'd rather not really get into those rumors. There's so many different stupid rumors. But he is resigning, and he will be stepping down February 28th, and hopefully sometime by mid-March we'll have a new Pope. Who it will be? I'm not exactly sure. Also with that, for the people who are in the Las Cruces Diocese, um, we are getting our new bishop installed also on the 28th, and I might be able to go see that. If not, I'll probably see it on the Las Cruces Diocese website that they have. I'm not too sure what the address is, but just a little information that if you cannot go see it or if you don't get the tickets to, you can look it on, um, on the web. So, also with that, um, Lent is coming up. No, and I really don't have much in the way of anything to give up just yet. So, comment below on what you think I should give up. Something ha challenging and something hard. I know what most of you guys are going to put, and that's pretty mean. <laughs> but, um, yeah, just comment below what you think that uh, I should give up. May I might give up, I don't know. Um, a couple weeks ago, the... Sorry, a couple weeks ago, St. John's lost one of its best priests. Uh, Father Juan Montoya was there from 1998 or 1999 to about 2009. And he died last Thursday, um, I think of a heart attack. And, well, he's in a better place now. They had a good memorial mass for him there at St. John's on Friday. I went really good. It was in Spanish. And I really like the music that they play. They play a lot of, you know, Mexican music there. And I'm glad that they made a memorial mass for him. Um, this Saturday, Roswell has another big famous person coming. Alex Raimundo, uh, the redneck Mexican, red Mexican or Hispanic, whichever you want to put it, is coming to the Sally Port Inn. Tickets start from $15 or go up to $20. Uh, he will be here this Saturday, like I said, and the show starts at 10.30 p.m. So hopefully me and my mom are going, and possibly Autumn, and hopefully we get to see him. And if I do, I'll post pictures, and hopefully I'll get them up here on um, on my blog. I might even get a little recommendation from him. Who knows? Um, right now I'm in the uh, job hunting right now. I've been looking for different jobs. Right now, the job that I'm really looking at is the job at the new Holiday Inn. I'm hoping to get front desk there. Now, the Holiday Inn is the one over there by Murphy's Gas Station. For those of you who are here in Roswell, the, uh, it is the new um, hotel up there. That is the hotel I'm trying to work at. Hopefully, I get the job because one big thing I want to get, and I know most of you are going to laugh at this, is a uh, bicycle. Uh, times are tough, obviously, and I don't want to be spending all my money on gas. So I'm thinking maybe I can get a uh, bicycle to start using from here to wherever I need to go. It'll save me on gas, and hopefully I can lose a little weight with it. So I'm hoping to get a certain um, bicycle at Walmart. Right now the price is $199. So I should be able to get that pretty easy. Maybe not, I don't know, but that's what I'm trying for right now. Um, one job that I'm looking also, I'm not too hopeful on it, is a job that I found over the internet today while looking at the city jobs, is the groundskeeper for the cemetery. Now I played a joke on my friend Will not too long ago about this. Um, me and my friend Jessica went to go look for uh, applications for a job, and well, she was getting, trying to find a new job away from an old job at the post office that she had. And one job that the city of Portales had was groundskeep for the um, graveyard. Well, for those of you who watch Repo the Genetic Opera, there's a character on there called the Grave Robber. So what we wanted to do was we got that application for a graveyard, and we slipped it under our friend Will's door. And um, I wrote a little note there on a sticky saying, You always wanted to be the grave robber. Here is your chance. Yeah, he got pretty mad. It was funny as hell, but he got a little mad. So, I just want to say that I now have that opportunity, and if I get it, hopefully I don't see you at my job, because if I do, that isn't a good thing. So, 
I don't know. I might just become the dark cemetery creeper. Which everybody seems to find whenever they go to the cemetery. Um, last thing I wanted to talk about. Um, I went through a lot this past year, in 2012. You know, everybody knows what I went through. Everybody knows what happened. You know, you all have your own stories of what happened, what went down, what didn't. Um, even though it all happened to me, and as much as people like to judge me, you guys are still there. And I just wanted to make this a little... Just a little thank you for everybody who's there. So, you know, all of you out there, I'm going to name a few, and if I don't name you off, don't get all mad. I still appreciate you, trust me. It's just these are the ones who come straight to mind uh, right now. But first, obviously, my fiance Autumn... Uh, I want to thank you for being there. I know you've only been there since um, August, but I, you know, you've still had a really big impact on my life. And I want to thank you for being there for so long. You know, you know, I don't know many girls that could keep up with all my tempers and arguments and stuff that we always have to go through. I don't know many girls who would have kept up with that and still stayed with me. So I really thank you for that, Autumn. I love you a lot. Uh, second person I want to thank is Ray. Um, she was probably the first person that I told about what was going on, and I want to thank you for giving me the advice and everything um, that you've given me over the past year, year and a half, and, you know, you've been there with me since ninth grade, and I really want to thank you for that. Um, you know, we've had our ups and downs, and we've done some pretty cool things, and you know, you've always been there no matter what, you know, you've been there with me through every single girlfriend that I've ever cried over, you know, you've been there and supported me in everything that I've done, you've always been happy for me, and I always try to do the same, and so if there's any times that I haven't done the same, that you've treated me, I want to, you know, apologize for that, thank you Ray, very much for being there for me for so long, you know, you're like one of my sisters, you, know? you might not be blood, but as the saying goes, you don't have to be blood to be family. And also with that one thing, uh, Dominic, uh, you're pretty cool, you know that, you know, you've been there with me since sixth grade, you know, you were there before I became this, the person that I am now, you were there when I was, you know, an idiot who just ran around thinking he was, you know, ten foot tall and bulletproof, you know, I want to thank you for being there for me with all the crap that I went through, you know, no matter what happened, you know, you always encouraged me to keep going, no matter how low I got, no matter how unfaithful I got towards myself and towards my religion and all, even though we don't have the same beliefs, I want to thank you for, you know, just encouraging me to keep going on. Uh, Tony, I know you live in Santa Rosa, I know you haven't been there this past, um, semester, but just because you haven't been there physically doesn't mean you haven't actually been there. I mean, you've texted me, messaged me, you've done a lot. You know, I've seen you on a couple times that I've gone to Albuquerque, and during those times, you know, it may only have been a couple hours, but you still impacted my life a lot, too. And I just want to thank you also for being there, you know. Nobody's ever gotten as much trust as, I, as you've gotten in the short amount of time that you've been my best friend. I mean, we've only been brothers for, you know, less than a year now. And I just want to thank you for, you know, taking time out of your life to have me in your life because not everybody you know is willing to do that i want to thank the Becerras, uh, melissa stephanie and lupe you three are the ones who have helped me in my faith the most because you've been through a lot of crap yourselves and i don't know if you know if it's better or worse or the same as what i've been through but i know you've been through some stuff I want to thank you for always pushing me and making me strive for my faith and to stay in my faith in the Catholic Church. You know, if it hadn't have been for you guys, I, you know, I don't know where I would have gone. I don't know where I would have strayed. I want to thank you for always being there, you know. I know we don't always get, you know, the whole mushy thing, you know, brother and sister thing, but, you know, I just want to thank you. You know, I, I don't care. I'm just letting out my feelings now. You know, for everybody else that had been there, all my brothers and sisters, all my friends and family, I want to thank you all. Because, you know, a man can't do everything by himself. 
He can't go through everything by himself. And I just want to really thank you for it. And if it hadn't been for all of you, you know, where would I be? You know, with everything that has happened, where would I be? You know, 19 years have gone through my life and, you know, I haven't had the best 19 years, but then again, I haven't had the worst. And the best times have been because of you guys. So thank you for everything that you've all done. I love you all. Don't forget to check out my friend here on YouTube, Super Ray, R-A-E Dizzle, here on YouTube. Like and subscribe. She's got 94 views right now. 94 subscribers, I'm sorry, right now. Let's see if we can get 100. Thank you, everybody. One last thing before you go, I just want to say thank you to one last person, and this is sort of a private message that I wanted to give to you. Um, that is why I'm filming separate. I want to thank you, my mom. I want to thank you for being there for 19 years. You know, everything that we've been through, everything that I've gone through with you, you've always been there. You know, you've never questioned anything, you've never questioned my judgment. You just went along with it and supported me through everything that I've gone through. I just want to thank you for all your support, encouragement, and everything, and I, especially your love. You know, without you, I would not be here, you know. It wasn't for you and the little gleam in your eye, I wouldn't be here. So, you know, I know times are tough for us, but like we keep telling each other, we will make it through. I love you so much, Mom. You mean the world to me. And there's nothing I would trade for, for you. There's nothing I would rather give. Thank you very much. On a hill far away Stood an old rugged cross the emblem of suffering and shame.